इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड यूज इन दिस वर्स इज समाधि समाधि स्थस्य केशव वन हु इज सिचुएटेड ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ समाधि और ट्रांसेंडेंस स्पिरिचुअल प्लेटफॉर्म हाउ डज ही बिहेव हाउ डज ही टॉक हाउ डज ही वॉक वॉट आर द सिम्टम्स सो दिस समाधि इज द अल्टीमेट ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ योगा इन द अष्टांग योगा प्रोसेस विच स्टार्ट विथ यम नियम आसन प्राणायाम धारणा ध्यान फाइनली वन हैज टू रीच द स्टेज ऑफ समाधि समाधि मीन्स कंप्लीट एब्जॉर्बन इन द थॉट्स ऑफ कृष्णा सो मेनी योगा प्रोसेस नाउ पीपल आर गेटिंग पेटेंट्स ऑल्सो फॉर इट एंड पीपल आर इन्वेंटिंग वेरियस वेज ऑफ डूइंग योगा बट सम हाउ दे हैव फॉर्गॉटन द अल्टीमेट ऑब्जेक्टिव विच वन हैज टू अटेन बाई डूइंग योगा इट इज नॉट सिंपली रिड्यूसिंग बेली फैट और सम फिजिकल फिटनेस और सम टेम्प्ररी पीस ऑफ माइंड but the ultimate objective of yoga is to reach the stage of samadhi when a person is completely absorbed on the mind is absorbed on the spiritual platform and spiritual platform means mind is absorbed on the form of lord krishna so the recommendation of meditating on some voidness or some light candle light or sunlight or some impersonal effulgence or focusing on uh, anything else it is not recommended as per the standard instructions given either in the patanjali yoga sutra or in bhagavad gita or in any standard book of yoga that is why it is told shravanam kirtanam vishnoho smaranam the meditation contemplation has to be there on vishnu similarly it is told in mahabharat shantakaram bhujag shayanam padmanabham suresham the form of lord is described very beautifully the lord who is shantakaram bhujag shayanam the most peaceful lord who is lying on the bed of snake padmanabham suresham he is having lotus navel he is the master of all demigods lakshmi kantam kamala nayanam he is the husband of lakshmi the goddess of fortune and his eyes are very beautiful like the petals of lotus flower meghavarnam shubhangam his color is like that of dark cloud so in this way the description is given of the personal features of the lord and then it is told yogi rid dhyan gamyam the yogis rid in their hearts dhyan gamyam so the meditation means meditation on this form of the personality of godhead within one's heart this is the authorized instruction as per mahabharat patanjali yoga sutra bhagavad gita or any other standard book of yoga practice so we should be very careful we should not fall for such modern inventions rather the yoga process is coming from the god it should be taken from the authorized sources so only when the mind is completely fixed without any deviation on the form of personality of god a person reaches the stage of samadhi so this uh, system is also explained by lord krishna in the 6th chapter of bhagavad gita but arjuna rejects that we will see very nice conversation it is and when arjuna rejects because he tells i am a householder how can i go to the himalayas or Uh, some jungle and sit there alone i have to leave all my family members my uh, my kingdom and all other opulences and so much hardship i cannot take i cannot control my mind in that way so krishna tells do not worry you are already the best yogi because yogi naam api sarvesham mad gatena antaratmana among all the yogis mad gatena antaratmana within his heart one is always thinking of me shraddhavan bhajate yo maam and with great faith bhajate has come from bhaj dhatu means to render service who is always thinking of me and rendering me service same yukta tamam mataha he is the best yogi so this is the yoga process which is being prescribed by krishna to arjuna and that is the yoga process which is meant for the people in this age of kali yuga so krishna also will 
prescribe other yoga process as we will see so that arjuna can reject and so that we can understand when arjuna could not follow who was trained in gurukul and mind and senses were perfectly controlled very sharp moralist but he could not follow so what is the hope for people like us who are always disturbed and short lived that is why it is told in the scriptures krite yadhyayato vishnu krit means in sat yoga the process was this ashtanga yoga dhyan yoga process dhyayato vishnu but the word used here is vishnu again please uh, uh, mind these verses very carefully dhyayato vishnu impersonal meditation on void light x y z is not recommended anywhere dhyayato vishnu and treta yam yajato makhai in treta yog the same spiritual success was possible by doing yagyas fire sacrifices dwapari paricharya yam in dwapar yoga that success was possible by elaborate temple worship deity worship but in kali yoga we do not have any qualifications to follow either of these processes so kalau in kali yoga in this millennium tad hari kirtanad we need not worry same result can be attained by hari kirtana chanting the names of hari so this is the first symptom of a person who is in samadhi that he will always be talking only of krishna or of matters related to krishna kalau tad hari kirtana that success can be attained by hari kirtan chanting the names of god it was also mentioned in the 9th chapter of bhagavad gita as we will see in the verse number 14 satatam kirtayanto mam because the mind is always absorbed in thoughts of krishna so yogi a real yogi cannot do anything but talk only of krishna thus it is told satatam satatam means always krishna mentions kirtayanto kirtan means to chant or to speak about krishna mam satatam kirtayanto mam about me so this is the first symptom one who is in samadhi he cannot do anything but talk only of krishna or of matters relating to krishna krishna's service and then other symptoms of transcendence they follow automatically which are those symptoms let us see now arjuna uvacha sthit pragyasya ka bhasha samadhi sthasya keshava स्थिति किं प्रभाषेत किं आसीत व्रजेत किं अर्जुन सेड व्हाट आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ वन हुज कॉन्शियसनेस इज दस मर्स्ड इन ट्रांसेंडेंस हाउ डज ही स्पीक एंड व्हाट इज हिज लैंग्वेज हाउ डज ही सिट एंड हाउ डज ही वॉक 